Hey guys, so, <laughs> yes, this is Minecraft, um, so we're gonna do some base ideas, and yes, I will be playing Minecraft. Basically, I'm a big fan of Portal, and I want to make this my base. This is about what I want it to look like, um, yes, but this is a Minecraft video. You know, if you want me to do Portal, I guess I can. <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is a weird take on a video. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, basically... Basically, what we're gonna... Okay, this... Okay. So, this might be a little bit big, but this is about what I'm thinking is... Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway. So, we have all of this... And, you know, these are the glass. It's a bit off, because it's just portal... How it's working. Um... But, I think, like, just making this would, looks a little weird. Like, you know, there isn't that much detail. You know, the, the chests are all supposed to be here. There isn't really that much more detail, is the thing. Alright, this is a bit of... This is just also a bit of a different take. Um... I have a mod... Uh, style. I'm thinking overgrown. Okay. <laughs> I made it work. So, basically, you can see, like, this is overgrown, and if... And you can see that even more if we go into the game view. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! Alright, so it's now overgrown, you can kind of see that, um, so this is kind of what I've been thinking for the test, I mean, just our base, is something more like this, because I think I like this, like, you know, you can throw some vines coming down, you know, we have a lot more space to put in some textures, this is what I've just been thinking, and I think what we can also do is we can, like, go ahead and, like, make test chambers, I'm not sure if they would be functional or not. I mean, I'd hope they'd be functional. But, like, we could do stuff like that, and that would make, you know, that would give me a lot more opportunities to do stuff in my base. Okay, so, as you can see, you might be able to recognize this design a little bit easier now. Um, thing is, we need a lot of quartz. And since we don't have a gold farm or bartering farm, we have to resort to villagers and do this trade several times and th that's this is going really slowly and you know i need something else to do as alongside this so i think we can work on something else that's around here which is making our industrial district okay so my plan here was, as you can see that pillar, there's four pillars, and I want to make a perimeter. Like I did in Season 1. Um, thing is, is that with 1.18, that's going to be a lot harder. The most obvious reason for that is that the world goes down, this is, much further. And, ow, that hurt. And TNT explodes after falling 80 blocks. So, if we just make it at, like, the usual area that's, like, around here, we won't get all the way down to Bedrock. So, that means we're going to have to make two separate perimeters. So, what I'm thinking is, like, one perimeter that's, like, a little bit bigger, all the way down to, like, Deep Slate level, and then another one that cuts through all the way to Bedrock. Okay, the other huge thing that's an issue is aquifers and I've been kind of pulling some water out but like I only have 26 sponges and as an example of what stupid crap we need to deal with is this where this is a crap ton of water and I don't really have that much experience with removing water but we're obviously gonna have to do that okay so we have, I don't know why I tailed that, we have a bunch of stuff, um, 
and we're gonna go work on this. So all of these ugh, sorry, all of these farms are actually just temporary because I've wanted to make a perimeter. You might have figured that out. I don't know, but like those markers have been there <laughs> since the start of the season for since I started building here. But this is gonna be what I've been planning. I want to make a huge industrial district. The villagers, I don't want them to be in that, because that's obviously temporary. I want them to be above it all, like, where that pillar goes up. So, like, when you're trading with villagers, you can look down and see all the crazy farms. And that's kind of my plan for the season, is, like, portal base, like, aperture kind of a thing. And perimeter with a bunch of stuff in it. And that's kind of my plan for my base. And, like, for the season. So, I am going to go set up, set up some perimeter uh, flying machines. I can't speak. This is going to take a really long time. This is just going to be, like, an in-between episodes kind of thing, probably. Episodes are probably going to get a little bit slower. Because I, like... Because I don't want to just, like, release an episode every week saying, like, Oh, this is how much I've done. I, I kind of want to do episodes where like I actually get something accomplished instead of just updating like saying oh guys this is what I've done so far I want it so then it's like you know so it's more entertaining for you guys and it and like you know later on in the future like if someone's binge watching this it'll be a lot more entertaining for them and it won't be like several hours worth of just doing the same exact thing Okay, let's go work on this. Let's go get started. Okay, so it's been about a little under a month, I want to say, yeah, and we are finally done with the first half, which is just nuts. Uh, this amethyst actually isn't going to be within range, so... I don't really know if I should bother with turning it into a farm. That one's an amethyst that I was able to save. There wasn't really that many stuff because I think some TNT got in. But anyway, all of these chunks are just me trying to block out the slime spawns of the chunks that I know of. So then I can get all the chunks down. And I've been like flying around for like a half hour. There's been some slime spawns that are like right on the edge. So I just kill the slime and don't mark it down. Because I'm at the point where I've, like, marked down all of the possible slime chunks. I just have to make sure they're 100% a slime chunk. And if they're spawning on the edge, I can't really tell, unfortunately. So what I'm thinking is that we can probably start with the second layer. And how that's going to work is that if we pull up our chunk borders, this was supposed to be the edge. But you can see that there's a little bit more extra room, and that's where we're going to put the... Next set of TNT dupers, they're going to go this way. So, like, also... And it's actually 17 by 17, plus one extra, because I decided, like, midway through... Like, those are actually a chunk further away, all the way over there. <laughs> and I decided, like, midway through... So, like, yeah, you can see that this might have some more room. I'm probably going to have to remove some stuff. But I decided, like, midway through that I want the center to have a chunk... That you can just walk- oh my gosh, all these stupid notifications. That you can just have, like, a bunch of, you know, like, you can walk around in, and that'll be all, like, the items. Like, all the chests. So you can go put stuff into there. And, like, it'd be- what am I talking about? So you can, you know, you can walk around there, and it'll still get drops. Of course, there'll be an actual AFK spot. So, like, why I'm wanting to make this, one of the main reasons, is not only just to spawn proof, because it's fun- but also, the lower down in the world a mob farm is, the faster it is. Um, I did some more research on that. So, like, basically, mobs have a random chance of being all the way at the top, a bottom to the top. But it's less likely the higher up you go. And how this is determined is the highest block in, like, that entire column. So, like, all the way down, all the way up. Also, something that I'm hoping to do this season is actually have an off switch for my farms. Because... <laughs> I've have I have not done that, which is something that I should totally do. <laughs> so something that I've been doing is that I've also been playing Terraria, and I've kind of just been working on this 
mostly and then playing Terraria, so I'm thinking that, you know, I'll be uploading Terraria videos just to, just so I can have something for you guys to be watching. <laughs> but, yeah. It's a very big project. And this is only going to take longer because there's probably a lot, there's going to be lava, which you can't soak up with sponges, and there's going to be diamonds, so I'm going to have to keep on going down there, losing my stuff, trying to get the diamonds, because I'm a greedy pig. <laughs> so, like, there's just going to be, I mean, do I want to mine the spawner? Do I want to just forget the spawners and the amethyst geodes and the diamonds? I mean, I kind of... Like, is it that, and have it be very slow, or just have it regular slow? And that's kind of the decision that I'm going to have to make, unfortunately. Yeah, that's definitely a slime chunk. Okay, so, you guys, um, I've started work, and as you can see, I've been, it's been going quite well, actually. Um, we found, we ran into some aquifers, not as big as the one that took me a long time but I'm sure that's just the easy I'm sure there's gonna be lava lava fires lava fires I, I don't know lava pools I don't I don't know you're gonna die buddy I'm just hoping it hit bedrock soon no pain so, yeah, I've decided that I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I'll see when it gets to that point. Is that water down there? I can't tell. That looks like water. Yeah, that's water, but I th it might be out of range. Like, we might not have to worry about that, because we're, because at, like, this point, we can kind of just cut off some of it. I mean, I'll probably do, like, a, graph but like these corners we don't really have to worry about that much because the spawning areas is a sphere so it doesn't actually need to be a square it's just that you know just square I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about so the issue is that um I keep on getting different results so I may it might just be like the pa the fact that it's like a paper server and it might be lagging a bit or something or it's just like variable but blot that's at y level 7 if you're standing on that and the tnt is at y15 and that's the absolute highest it can be so it can still break the blocks all the way down at the bottom of the world and i'm just worried that some of the tnt was blowing up the actual duper and i did some testing in a single player world and that worked it didn't blow it up like because that's like six blocks difference, something like that. But like, maybe seven. But like, on this server, it's like, it's, it has to be like seven or something on the server. I, I really don't understand. So that's, that's annoying. Yeah, I should have made, if I made like the top ones lower by like two blocks, this would be a whole lot easier. I have all this gold, and I'm pretty sure he sells obsidian. Ox, wood. There it is! Okay, here we go. This is what I need. So that's 16 gold, so let's put all of our obsidian in here and go 1, 2, 3, 4. need that much. I don't know, if we need any more, we can just AFK for it. I am actually really happy that I actually decided to gut this out, because this has a lot of crystals. <laughs> like, there's one that has, like, that's a bigger crystal, but I think it just got blown up halfway through. It's that one. That only has, like, single digits, I want to guess. But this has a lot of amethyst. So I'm really happy that I decided to uh, uh, gut it out. So that's good. 
We just got an obsidian. So basically, you want to case them with a 3x3 block. I thought you didn't need to do the corners, and then I learned my lesson, because there was a mob spawner that I did that to, and it got blown up. So I did a lot more testing with a lot more TNT, and you just have to encase it all. And, well, oh crap, I left my shoulder box down there. So we got this big old mess of obsidian. And this is just the entire amethyst geode protected so then it doesn't get blown up. And that honestly looks pretty nice. You know, it's just a big black blob. AQ saw this and he thought it was just like, it got filled up with lava. No, I just... Well... Oh my gosh, that was... Okay! I was just about to, like, stop recording, and then a creeper Do I not have a boat? Please tell me that I do have a boat. Uh, I'll just... Water... I like this. And apparently that's going off. That's just fantastic. And that's gonna go all over the redstone! Actual bruh moment, creeper. That was absolutely so cringe. Like, that was extremely cringe. Looks like the duper didn't get hurt though, so that is great. Um... This needs to be somehow locked so then it doesn't go off and I don't know if I can do that. Yay, it's gonna, I have no way of stopping it from, okay, great, thanks Creeper, I really appreciate it. beans. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna... Yep! Yeah.